Be Wise with Peter Guthrie and Whitefield Aperies. I'm Peter Guthrie. Um, as we turn the new year into a colder spell of weather, having had a fairly mild winter so far, I'm going to show you what steps you need to do to ensure that the bees will go forward from here on into spring. The first step is to go around the whole apiary and check the individual weight uh, of each hive just simply by lifting it up at the back, a process known as hefting. Um, it takes quite a lot of time to get used to this, but my motto is that if it's too easy to lift up, then it needs more food. If it makes you grunt, then it's a hive that's still well fed. Oh, this is really grunting. Having assessed the hives broadly for their weight and the condition, uh, those that require it, we are going to give fondant, fondant B fondant, to each of the hives. These come in two packs, a one kilo pack, which we use basically as an insurance policy in all the hives this time of year, so that if the bees come up under the crown board, there's something for them and they don't starve. Even if there was plenty stores in the hive, it's possible that they might suffer later on from isolation, starvation. For those hives that need a greater amount of fondant now, we would put on a two and a half kilo pack as opposed to a one kilo pack. The fondant is simply sucrose, 83 and a half percent sucrose, there's dextrose and maltose in it, but that's not available to the bees. And the bees with their own enzymes will process this food during the winter, providing it's not excessively cold and they can't get up to it. The great thing about these packs is that we can put them on the hive, just simply slicing it down either side, cutting it across the top, and pulling that flap back to expose the fondant. So that if the bees don't eat it or don't require it, you can take it off put the flap back on, seal it over, and it'll come for use again because the, the shelf life of this is 18 months minimum. As commercial beekeepers, um, you have to understand that we would take all the honey off except that which is below the queen excluder in the brood chamber, and it's not in our interest to have any starving hives. So in order to take the bees forward into spring, we generally start this process sometime in the first few weeks of January um, depends very much on what sort of winter we have because the bees will go in the spring to pollinate fruit, top fruit so we have got to make sure that they're going forward almost irrespective of what the weather throws at us in the meantime. It's important to record what you do with bees especially when you've got a lot of them to look after so we will write today's date on the record card and put down one kilogram from the bee so that when we come back the next time we know how long it is since we were here and gives us some idea of the rate at which they're eating it at. Be Wise with Peter Guthrie and Whitefield Aperies.